Yeah. Oh, where did it go? Yeah. You leave. I'm late. I'm late. This is this. It doesn't turn off, by the way, so just leave it there. Right. No, the button doesn't. You just unplug it. <laughs> it never turns. Yeah, you just have to. Like, what it's were you saying? It, this is. Um, we've already talked about this, you and I together, but I, but I think all of us accept that this is really. I caught this when you were. When you, I was listening to your words when you were singing. And, and the, the mess, Yo. you're, you're giving a solid message. Take care. We'll see you soon. Which is about peace, about calm, freedom, unity, mm-hmm. all of the highest values. The virtues, right? The virtues. Yeah, love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, mm-hmm. right? So, compassion. So, nobody's going to see this as worship, but that's what it is. It's a form of worship, it's a form of honoring the holy, the sacred. Yeah. And the, the beauty of all things. Mm-hmm. And I I just had that sense when you were um, when we were doing some last piece because I was listening to your to your words. And um, it's it's the, the music is so hypnotic, <laughs> but it is also combined with the, the images that you're creating and that we are all creating. It really, as we've talked about, it really takes you to a different place. A higher, a higher plane, so that if people really come and listen to this and and let it let let themselves be absorbed by what's happening, it, it's it'll be fabulous, really. I 100% agree. I mean, that's a it's a wonderful thing that you have these this creative talent. What's his first name again? Matthew. Matt. Matt. Mm-hmm. And um. Jeremy. Jeremy. And then we also had an African American singer who was here. Oh, yeah, Yona. He's in California right now visiting his family. But he was fabulous, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, with, the, with, with all f- one, two, three, with five people, um, even with four people, it's just. appreciate that especially because well since i'm always like logistically trying to calculate what's gonna happen right especially because we're like technologically kind of limited yeah. we don't have like there's some bands and people that oh. go out play perform uh, constantly they have thousands of dollars worth of yeah they got all this stuff but, but we don't need that no I, yeah i'm like falling into the, the, some of the things that my dad used to influence on me which is he said like someone who's good with some Someone who's, someone who's good at something can do it well with less. Mm-hmm. Somebody who's a drummer like um, David Reckle, if you've ever seen David, if you want to see the most fabulous drummer there is, watch, go on YouTube and pick up, just put in a bunch of David Reckle, W-E-C-K-Y-L. Um, watch him play, and he, he could play on anything. He could have a cheap set, and he has a fabulous set, because he's a professional. Yeah. He can play on his best set. It wouldn't matter. He still sounds bad. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what'd you say? Uh, just that sounds is still going. Yeah, it sounds. Yeah. yeah. We're just talking about the, the experience of what we just did and how powerful it is. And yeah. um, I was saying, although most people wouldn't consider it to be worship, it, it does take us to a higher plane. Yeah. And the images that, that he creates with his words is all about the virtues. Yeah. Which is just, it's fabulous. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, I don't, it's just kind of, it's just awesome, really. Yeah, thank you, man. It's, it's a privilege to be able to play with you guys, really. Same, same. Yeah, same. Like, kind of, just having someone that knows their way around those kind of rhythms is, is a really great addition. Yeah, yeah. I think next time I will bring my, uh, my hat, my top hat. I'll bring one symbol that I can you can be great for some accents that we do. Yes. yes. And, um, I also have a couple of, I have some mallets that we can use to get a symbol effect too. Either at the beginning or the end of the piece that would be good. I have uh, brushes which you can use. Mm-hmm. You can use brush up on the hand drums. But I think we I think I think these are really working well. Yeah. Really glad I got them. Um, that'll just add a little different piece. Without crowding the space that we have. Yeah. Um, does that make sense? Absolutely. You're okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
yeah, we'll just see how it goes, see how it feels. No, I, I agree, I know what you mean. Like, there was moments where I was like itching for yeah. wanting some, like, like a small, a light layer of drums. Yes. Just yeah. for those types of fills and things. Yes. But nothing crazy. Yes. But I was like, ah, oh, we, we, yeah. right, let's, let's just continue. But I, I really liked this. This was a great experiment, too. Yeah. And I did it with like. And I music. realized playing with you guys how important it is for me to provide a very solid underpinning rhythm. And uh, it, that's very important. Because um, when I was playing jazz, there's much more freedom and improvisation. But for us to stay on with what we're doing and for, to create the environment that we want, it's very important to have consistency. And that doesn't mean we can't experiment with different things with different tempos. But to have a solid base. Yes, to yeah. draw on is really important. And you've mentioned that before, so mm -hmm. I'm getting a sense of what we work. Yeah, especially because I've already, just from studying music, I've noticed that um, most listeners, even people who would consider themselves advanced listeners, right. they they listen to music so that the music takes them on a ride. Right. And so those rhythms are like, you know, let's just, let's just pretend they're like, the tracks for a train. Right, right. There are there is music out there that's complex yes. enough that it yeah. it absolves all rhythm. Or yes. it gives you rhythms when yes. it wants to. Yes. So there is no track. Like you you don't feel like you're riding and you're right. like like you got on, you're in, you're safe on a, and then you get off and then you go home. No, it feels like they just threw you into space and you're spinning. Yeah. yeah. So th this is important because at the very end, no matter all this stuff, because there's a lot of stuff going on here. It Sonic. Is. A lot of a ocean. lot of yes. Yeah. This, that kind of thing, and I try to do that even with bass too. Yeah, like bass is rhythmic. It is. Trying to like yeah. incorporate that sensation of like I know exactly where I am. Or yeah. like I, I, I'm not completely lost in this cave. Right. We're yeah. going. We're yeah. going down some yeah. kind of trail. Yeah, exactly. Like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's like a trail, like a hiking trail. You've never been on it, but it definitely has been. Someone's been here, right. and you trust it. That's right. Like, even and though you're like, well, it's just wolf in the wilderness. And who knows where we'll end up? I mean, this is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> we haven't even started pushing it. No, we're just getting acquainted with each other. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't wait till the end gets back because yeah, no. some of that stuff you're talking about, especially yeah. lyrically. Yep. Him and I, I, I've been trying to be more diligent with him so yeah. that we can like yeah. promote those inner, um, right, innermost, uh, I don't know, like chapters of what what, what a soul is. <laughs> But like in a diligent way, where we can like really, literally uh, produce, you know, some sort of a pattern, like a lyric, just like what you do, but lyrically. Exactly. So that our improvisations, the best of our improvisations, get to be heard. And it all is there. So sometimes we just yell weird things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, well, so, you almost don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, part of it, I, when I was when we were playing, I was feeling, I felt like I was at a, a Native American drum drum ceremony, or some kind of a dancing for the, mm -hmm. and they. Um, <laughs> Well, yeah, so. <laughs> no, no, you, you summed it up, it's good. Yeah. I'm really happy you did this. So, yeah, round two. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. So, I was going to say, definitely that. I want to, I'm looking forward to that. What you said to bring that top hat? Bring the top hat. Because I can do a lot with my top. Yeah, it provides a, 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 a kind of a foundation. And also, it's a very interesting sound, too. Mm -hmm. And I can do some uh, some other pieces with that in addition to just making that. Sound. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah. Well, there's other things I'm thinking about. Um, like, there was a moment where I was there and I was like, I wish I had four arms. <laughs> just, oh, yeah. Just, yeah. So I just like, I know. Like, yeah. <laughs> now, if, if, you, if you had, a, if you had a, a stand with two levels, that would make a big difference, wouldn't it? Yeah. You could, yeah, put, every, you could put everything off. Onto a onto a stand, you know yeah. what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be really helpful. Um, yeah, it's definitely something I thought about. Um, if what we can acquire that, I don't know. Um, why don't you do some research and let me know what it is that you need and what it would cost you to do that. Okay. And we'll look at it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Because I think it would make a big difference. Okay. Yeah, yeah I I agree. Um, I thought about it, even though sometimes I've thought like. Like I, I actually, I have this philosophy where I enjoy making music in difficult conditions. Or okay. To make music. Well, then maybe you don't need something. Like that. Yeah. I mean, I think at some point we will. Yeah. For the sake of like. Right. Being able to perform. Right. Certain things. Right. Yeah. Especially with public stuff. If you go into the public. 
But when we're in here and we're just literally grinding, oh, maybe this is like, perfect. I, I, like I, yeah, I like that. I got it from Sagar because this one of the greatest songwriters of all time. He said that. He said like difficult conditions beget superior skill. Yeah. Like he said like like there's it's true. There, yeah. There's it's true. there's this player right that like he's a famous Nigerian player that played in the nineties and like he became a professional just because he like he heard about soccer. Right. And he all he and all he wanted to do was have soccer ball, but they were so poor that he would just juggle oranges and it worked like with his feet. And he developed his technique so strongly that then he went. He tried out for one of the top teams in Nigeria, and then from that point, he only lasted a year, and they took him to England, and he played in one of the biggest teams in Arsenal. Yeah, because like he, he improvised. Yeah, and he and his, and he's, he was amazing. He improvised with what he had. Yeah, yeah, with something this small, which means his technique, controlling yeah. a, a real ball was impeccable. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Yeah. Like, I like the idea of, like, staying sort of yeah. low budget. Yeah. Because it's just going to squeeze our potential out. You're right. Compared to, like, hey, let's just relax. We have all this stuff. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you're right. That's a good point. Well, but, but, so well, I that, like to have that so that when yeah. we're like, we're ready to do the show, when, then we go there and bam, have everything when, we need. This desk go. actually could work as a two level thing. It, it could. It has a keyboard pull out. Oh, yeah. it does. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, right there. It's a great desk. Yeah, it, it could. It's real heavy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't want to move that anyway. Yeah, but now, at least here, just like. You know, Gift and Thrift has a lot of those kind of things that are they're lightweight and mm -hmm. minimal. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. With a pull out, and that would—that's something that we could get cheap, and it would do a, do a job. Yeah, I've been keeping an eye. Trust me. I'm sure you. Because like we we've literally played since well yeah like on these like little yeah fold out deals. Yeah. Like if we can find something yeah I've definitely been like watching carefully yeah. like a hawk. I'll, I'll keep my eyes open too. Or something that's good quality, not too worn down. That would like that would work. To, yeah, support our yeah. uh, sales. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be awesome. And also, you know, we have that massive rack of percussion instruments. Right, I know. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that moment to like sink my teeth in there. Yeah, <laughs> grab something. We already have a few things, but it'd be awesome to have like more stuff. So yeah. if we were playing someplace, what would you do about a piano? Well, that's why we're, we're kind of waiting to find one as well. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Um, there was actually a nice one that was for sale at Gift and Thrift a couple weeks ago. Yeah. He actually saw it. I yeah, did see the it. The big silver one, 89, the one that was 99 bucks. That's not really much at all. Nope. Yeah, kind of quality, I guess. Yeah, we wanted it, it just didn't really happen. Yeah, yeah, they took it pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. Like someone showed up in like a day or two. Like we were trying to pull the money together. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to make it so that one person didn't have to spend it all at yeah. once. Well, mm -hmm. let's um, let's keep that in mind. Yeah, absolutely. Let's keep that in mind. Yeah, that I mean that's kind of our limiting factor so far has been well before yeah. we were using computers to make drums too. So it's like right. you don't really want to bring it. Right. desktop computer to a show like <laughs> yeah exactly um exactly. <laughs> but um yeah the piano as well i don't i can transport that but i don't want to yeah you're right <laughs> you don't want to do this way too much yeah it's probably ruined it anyway yeah <laughs> yeah like he added a configuration that's great that, that's what's so this, this i want to learn how to use this yeah really yeah. i really haven't sat down with it that is something yeah absolutely yeah if you, if, whenever you want, or even now, we can like just look at this one thing. Yeah, like that. Now it's like set. I set it so that it has hands independently. Arpeggiator. Absolutely. Yeah. So the arpeggiator, like once you take that off, it's there's nothing. But I also have the leg. So like that's that. Okay. So from so any sequence of notes you press. Absolutely. This is when you can review it. Yeah. See what you like. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be good tonight. 
Yeah, and I definitely make sure to focus each time. So the video quality should be even a little bit superior than the last one. Super right? So okay. it should be nice. Right? Yeah, I'm already like eager. <laughs> did, did he show you the channel? The channel? The we we upload these videos onto YouTube. <laughs> oh, we, but it's you, kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, that's great. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, before I go, I'm gonna take a picture really. Quick. Yeah. Patches of in reason, like those organs. I don't know what's going on. Martin sent me like a bunch of stuff. Like I told him. No, no sabía si ese man quería una cerveza cuando me pidió algo frío. Oh, that yeah. Le voy a preguntar ahora cómo se ve. Yeah. Thought he was gonna ask him like, hey, are you okay? Like having a beer? Oh shit. Marvin got like a bunch of tapes. Oh really? Yeah, like right. Oh, oh yeah, he told me he had this box of tapes. He like that, like this. <laughs> oh shit, this shit like that. <laughs> Big pun, dude. Fuck. Was up in two of the second album. Oh, and then he, what? He wants to play? Yeah. And then he has this. What is this? Did he just get this? He told me he really wanted to get it. Oh shit. That's one of the suitcase models. Mm hmm Damn. That's pretty dope. I've seen those before, but. Yeah, I do. Um, actually, I really, what I really like is 